Welcome, everyone. Uh, we have a, a, a new interview, uh, Prenny, who I, I actually got you before and after, and I just had to uh, share the results with everyone and, and want to just know your history and to have a little dialogue. Sure. So can you tell me a little sure. bit about, uh, you know, your upbringing and did you have a weight problem your whole life or what happened? Yeah, so um, I, yeah, I've had a weight problem pretty much uh, my entire life. And um, I, I think uh, growing up, I didn't have the best nutritional advice from, from my mom. Um, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't blame her. She had a, a lack of, of information herself and uh, sugar and, and, and an unhealthy diet was always a part of my lifestyle growing up. Mm. Now, you, did you um, grow up in so South, South Africa? Yes. But what was the food back then? Because in my mind, I'm thinking, wow, Africa, they probably have really great soils, really healthy vegetables. Is that true? Yeah. Um, yes. Um, it, is, it is a very fertile uh, country. It's got, uh, it's got fantastic food. Well, my dad used to run a restaurant. So um, after school, every day we would go back to the restaurant and and hang out there from lunchtime till about three or four in the afternoon, and it was a free for all for me, you know. Uh, so so I could eat whatever I wanted. So I had full hearty meals, uh, desserts, uh, soft drinks. It was just yeah, it was life was uh, nutritionally not a problem. <laughs> exactly. Wow. So, so that went along, and then, and then, when did you tend to peak out at your your largest weight? What age were you at your most weight? Um, I think when I when I got into college, uh, that's when I just moved to uh, to New Zealand. I went uh, to university. Uh, that was at the age of about seventeen, eighteen, and um, uh, I started living by myself and. Um, I was eating literally for six months. My diet consisted of pizza and beer for six months. Nothing more, nothing less, just pizza and beer. And I topped out at 130 kilos. I got to 130 kilos when I was 17. How, mu how many pounds is that? Uh, I think it's almost three. I can do a quick calculation, but about 300 pounds. Wow. Wow. 286. That's that's a good amount of weight. Did you feel heavy? Did you like walking around in your joints, or what was it like being that that weight? Yeah, it was it was terrible. You you're always out of breath. You couldn't walk. <laughs> you know, if there were if there was a class on level four and um, and the lifts weren't working, I wouldn't go to class because I just couldn't climb four flights of stairs. <laughs> that's crazy. So, so then how long did it, it, did you just go for a period of time? When did you start like going, okay, I need to turn this around? Um, so when I, I stayed at 130 kilos for about three to four years. Um, and there was a point where I was just sick of being the, most unpopular and the fattest kid in 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 university and uh, i decided that something needed to change and uh and so i i started researching a bit about nutrition and all of that um and and i made very small changes at the time and those small changes changed quite a lot um um, in my diet, and those small changes consisted of, of getting rid of sugar. Wow. Yeah. And then you started losing weight. And did you? Um, when did you? Did you start on? And did you do ketosis at all at some point? So I got in touch with a nutritionist to help me out uh, with losing weight, and she introduced me to ketosis. She introduced me to what it was, what the diet looked like. And all of that and I got the first time I did ketosis it took me about six weeks to get into ketosis um, and I stayed in ketosis for maybe three or four weeks um, uh, and, and and got kicked out after three or four weeks 
because I took a shot, a single shot of tequila. <laughs> Kicked me out of ketosis. But look, um, during that journey, I lost about uh, 40 kilos. I went from 130 kilos to 89. I'll tell you how much 89 kilos is just now. 196 pounds. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, it's uh, it was quite a bit. Um, but I was doing a lot of... Um, uh, workouts as well. I was doing CrossFit. I was gymming. I was cycling and running most, mostly all four in a single day, as well as being on, on, on ketosis. That was my, my, my first weight loss journey. Then, um, I stopped all of that and, um, and the weight slowly started coming back on because even though I had been doing this for six months, it had not become a lifestyle. It was still a regime, right? And then I had stopped all of that and um, life had gotten back in the way and I slowly started putting on weight. And in about two years, I put on 25 kilos. And I and I jumped up to to back up to 253 pounds. So at the start of this year, I was 253 pounds and getting back to that 286 pound, my heaviest point, you know, uh, and I decided to look into ketosis again. And that's when I came across your channel. That's when I came across your information and. And I realized what I was doing the first time wasn't actually the best way to do it. Even though I got rid of all the refined sugars, I hadn't gotten rid of the the carbs. Um, I would still have, you know, a sweet potato in my diet or um, brown brown rice or, you know, whole wheat, whole wheat pasta. Um, and I realized, wait, hang on that's still, uh, that's off limits as well, you know? And so when I tried it after, after seeing, um, your information, when I tried it again, remember the first time it took me six weeks to get into ketosis, the, and then when I tried it with you, it took me two days to not, not even like two to three days to get into ketosis. That's fantastic. Did you also add intermittent fast fasting with it? Yeah, so intermittent fasting, I, I, um, I do intermittent fasting right now. I eat uh, one to two meals a day, but that's not because I conscience, consciously adopted it. It's just that I'm, I'm not hungry enough to eat three meals a day. So I eat breakfast at around 11 Lunch, uh, and lunch slash dinner at around four, and then that's it. Um, and then for four to eleven, I yeah. But that again, it's not because I'm I'm starving myself or I'm forcing myself. It's uh, that's just when when I'm hungry. That's incredible. So you don't have the cravings anymore. Um, sometimes I do, but nowhere near as as much as. I used to. Mm, okay. Nowhere near as much as I used to. So um, I've, I'm back down to 104 kilos, which is 229 pounds. Um, and uh, my goal is to, by the end of the year, get down to 85 kilos, which is 187 pounds. That's my that's my goal. How, how tall are you? Uh, five, six, almost five eight. Okay. That sounds good. That sounds like a good weight. And I used to, uh, like when you eat a meal, give me an example of what you eat. Uh, breakfast, for example, would be eggs, bacon, cheese, uh, and a bit of hummus on the side. That's great. And then for dinner, what would you have? Or four o'clock? Um, steak and, and a chorizo salad with feta and... Uh, and, and hummus on the side as well, but just a, a teaspoon or two of hummus. I just love hummus, and I'm so glad that I'm able to have that. <laughs> I love hummus too. You know the problem in, in the United States with hummus is that most of it's soy, soy-based. They don't even put olive oil. I'm like, what? 
Um, I was going to ask you, what about, are you still doing your workouts like you were before? Right. So, no, I, I, I'm not doing uh, CrossFit and gymming. I, this year, I decided to stop doing the things that I hate because last time, I, I, even though I was doing all these things, I didn't love what I was doing, right? So this year, I decided that I'm, what I'm trying to do is make a lifestyle. What I'm trying to do is make a lifestyle that I love, that is my lifestyle that I can um, sustain for the long run. So instead of going to the gym and doing CrossFit, um, I found things that I do love. So squash is, is a sport here, which is very similar to racquetball in the States. Um, so I play that um, on Saturday mornings with my friends. And then Monday and Wednesday nights, I play ultimate frisbee. Now, these are fantastic workouts. You know, the, it's, it's, uh, the, the calorie burn is twice as much as what I would get at a gym, you know. And so that's what I do three days a week, and that's my that's my workout. So I'm trying to build a lifestyle that that I love uh, and can move forward with for, for the long term. I love it. I love it. The type of workout that my body loves the most is chopping wood. Believe it or not. So I have right. uh, my backyard. We have all this wood. And that's I, I'll chop wood for a good solid half hour. I'm mean, like I walk by. I'm just like sweating. I get my whole body involved. So um, that's what I do. Yeah. And uh, what about um, what about um, your um, any other benefits like energy level or cognitive function? So um, nowadays I wake up at around five thirty in the morning and uh, and and go on till about nine or ten in the evening. And I used to always take a nap in the afternoon. Uh, I used to always have that. 3 p.m. crash and my productivity at around 3 p.m. was dead. <laughs> um, but now it's uh, I don't feel lethargic. Um, I'm, I'm always ready to go whenever someone says, let's go play squash or let's go play frisbee or whatever it is. Uh, I feel my, my energy levels are a lot more stable um, rather than a high in the morning, crash in the afternoon, and then high again in the evening and late nights and things like that so i feel like there's a lot more stability and um have are other people like looking at you going uh like just like wow what did you do i have i can't even recognize you do you have any of that <laughs> yeah um yeah i'm getting a lot of that um now more so than i would say maybe a month ago um and i'm telling them everything about every single person who asks me what are you doing i say all you gotta do is go to youtube type in dr eric berg and that's it. <laughs> so I tell them that I'm on on the ketosis diet, and uh, and 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 then I refer to to them on to you on on YouTube. I've got I've got an Instagram channel where I'm sort of trying to help other people. I'm just sharing my my results, and if that inspires other people, fantastic. And whenever I talk about ketosis, I talk about um, you know Dr. Eric Berg is my source of information when it comes to to ketosis. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it uh, simple, but I, I think it's really important for just doing these interviews for give other people an idea that it doesn't have to be, you know, doom and gloom. It needs to be a lifestyle change and you have to make it part that fits you, not try to force things. Yeah. And I think um, a lot of people that even do other programs like Ideal Protein, for example, it's a struggle. They're doing snacks and they, they lose some weight and then they gain it right back and they're in the same sh shape that they're in. So it's good to hear yeah. your story. I think it's going to be uh, very inspiring for other people. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. There's this, um, yeah, the, there are a lot of these, these shakes, ketosis shakes. And I have no idea what ketosis shakes are. I've been approached many times to, to, to try the shake and it'll put you in ketosis and blah, blah, blah. And, and it doesn't. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm sticking away from it. But I shouldn't be drinking a shake. Well, well I just don't think it uh, it makes sense. I do, maybe I don't know enough about it um, for me to make a judgment call on it. But yeah, I, I think it's gonna. It's one of those things. Just my personal opinion. It's kind of a little bit of a gimmick that um, well, you can get ketones. You can actually make your own ketones very inexpensively with food, 
and you don't, just by not eating certain things, you don't have to necessarily take ketones to burn those ketones as fuel. So uh, right. I, I didn't really, I didn't, and it's multi-level, so that turned me off right there. But anyway, I, I'm not into it. Right, right. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is an amazing story, Prenny. I, I really appreciate uh, you sharing with us. I, I think it's amazing. The before and after is like incredible. So um, inspiring. Absolute pleasure. And thank you for, for taking the time to... To, to make this content and send it out and you know I mean you're basically helping people like me to to lose weight um, with information uh, and and it's fantastic I I'd like to thank you for, for for all the effort and time that you're putting into making all this content oh wow I I appreciate that and thank I appreciate thank you <laughs> sure thing okay well you have a wonderful uh, afternoon or evening whatever time it is over there what? 4.30 a.m. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for getting yeah. up in the middle of the night and doing this video. <laughs> no worries. No worries, Dr. Berg. Okay. Have a great one. Have a good one. See ya. Okay, see ya.